Okay, guys, uh, due to a couple of requests, I'm going to go ahead and make a video about how I made my torch. Here is, you can see my other videos, is what the finished product looks like. Um, we have a quarter inch barb by FIP uh, thread right here, which is this piece. Everybody can check that out. All this stuff can be found at Home Depot. Um, then we have our valve, just a little ball valve that you find in the air fitting section at Home Depot. It goes right here. This is uh, a quarter inch nipple. It's um, MIP by MIP quarter inch nipple. It goes right here. Then we have, and I'm not sure what it's called, but it's a it's some kind of little reducer fitting that that goes on on the top right here and uh, it's quarter inch FIP and I'm not sure what this connection is but it fits on a on a 7 16th nut so then you need a tap which is a M6 size tap to go ahead and tap this out right here and then you need uh, this is a tip to a uh, MIG welder okay so it's a just a just a little wire feed tip, and um, it's a point oh four uh, zero. So <clears throat> go ahead and use your tap, tap this out, and this will screw right into there, like so. Okay. Another thing you need, which is a very important component, is bronze wool. This is medium bronze wool. I couldn't find any uh, fine bronze wool. Other guys are using fine bronze wool. And that is going to be used for your flame arrester to go in here. See how we feed it right in there, just like that. Okay? And you're going to want to push it all the way through. And that's how we're going to make our flame arrester. Anyway, once you take your, your tap and you screw that down in there you, you, and you tap this out, um, then you, you're going to want to get some Teflon tape and put your Teflon tape on every connection, okay? So just pretend that there's Teflon tape on every connection. I'm not gonna do it right now. Uh, just, I'm just gonna do this for demonstration purposes. And um, see, you go ahead and screw on your, your little tip here. Take your bronze wool, and then you're gonna feed in your bronze wool like so, okay? I found this bronze wool at a store called West Marine. I know they don't have them everywhere, um, but it's a it's a marine. It's a boating store. Um, it's a go ahead and just you don't want to pack it in there too tight so the air can still get through it pretty nicely. But you kind of want it in there a little bit. And then we're gonna go ahead and add our valve. This is the mechanism that we're gonna use to to shut our flame off, okay? So we just put our valve on there, and then when the flame's going, and we wanna turn it off without having a flashback, just go ahead and shut it like that, or, it'll, or shut it that way, it'll shut either way, but this is open. Then we have our quarter inch um, FIP, it's a female, by a quarter inch barb, and it's going to screw right on there, and you see guys, we have another torch. And um, this is a PCV valve, just a, like a little check valve. Um, I'm not sure how much I need it on there, but I put it on there for uh, safety precaution anyway. And here's my bubbler. And um, anyway guys, whenever you turn on your electrolyzer, um, you're gonna wanna try to put a little bit of water in here, okay? Keep this uh, top end a little bit loose to where you can just put some water down in, in this end and uh, once it starts to drip out of the other end um, you know that, that's enough and then um, you know you, you don't want to soak it but you do want it damp um, for the purposes of the flame roaster to work properly and then we'll go ahead and um, and turn on turn on your your, uh, your system and when you can feel the HHO coming out, then you can light it right up, and it should be pretty reliable, guys.
so anyway, that's a, how you make a torch. I've had a couple requests uh, to sell these things, and um, you know, if you want to pay for it, then I guess I can build you one, um, and it doesn't it doesn't take long. Um, but you know, just make me an offer or whatever, and uh, and I, I can put one together for you. So anyway, guys, that's how you make a torch, and it's uh, it's fairly simple and very reliable and. Uh, the only thing is, is that it does tend to heat up. So you might want to wrap this in something if you're going to be using it for a long time because if you have a, you know, some okay production, you're making a, a flame about out to here, it'll start to heat up after about five or 10 minutes. So, um, you, you know, just put some electric tape on it or something like that, you can need to. And um, that's it guys, take care.